What is on tap at Cousins Corner today? We're talking the resignation of a veteran coach at the University of Oklahoma, and it's because of controversy. So pull up a chair, sit back, relax, and let me tell you all about it. What is up, college sports fans, fellow members of Mountaineer Nation? This is Coos, and welcome in to another edition of Coos' Corner. So pull up that chair, sit back, relax, and let me serve you up this shot of top-shelf college football knowledge. Let's dig into to today's episode, which is all about Kale Gundy. Kale Gundy was the wide receivers coach for the University of Oklahoma, had coached at Oklahoma for over 20 years, been there a very long time under three different head coaches, Bob Stoops, Lincoln Riley, and now was there under Brent Venables. But he has resigned. All of a sudden, last night, late late at night, uh, surprisingly and unexpectedly, Kel Gunny releases this statement. I moved to Norman fresh out of high school in 1990. It feels like I never left. I have devoted nearly all of my adult life to Oklahoma football. My children graduated from OU. So did my wife. For almost three decades, this university has been my home. These players have been my family. Today, with great anguish, I announced my resignation. I apologize to those who are disappointed by this news. I owe it to Sooner Nation to be transparent about what led to this decision. Now, this is, I think this is telling right here. Now, listen close. Read between the lines here. Last week during a film session, I instructed my players to take notes. I noticed a player was distracted and picked up his iPad and read aloud the words that were written on his screen. The words displayed had nothing to do with football. One particular word that I should never under any circumstance, have uttered was displayed on that screen. In the moment, I did not even realize what I was reading, and as soon as I did, I was horrified. I want to be very clear. The words I read aloud from that screen were not my words. I think that's important right there, folks. He goes on to say, What I said was not malicious. It wasn't even intentional. Still, I am mature enough to know that the word I said was shameful and hurtful, no matter my intentions. The unfortunate reality is that someone in my position can cause harm without ever meaning to do so. In that circumstance, a man of character accepts accountability. I take responsibility for my mistake. I apologize. While considering this decision, I have been overwhelmed by the love and support of those who know me, my character, and my love for this program. I truly appreciate the support my players and coaches have shown. That support means more to me than I can express. It proves what I've always known about hashtag OUDNA. We are a family, so thank you. Nevertheless, I recognize this is a critical moment for Oklahoma football. This team, its coaches, players, administration, and fans do not deserve to be distracted by off-the-field matters while working to continue the tradition of excellence that makes me so proud to be a Sooner. I won't do the program I love the disservice of distracting from this mission. Effective immediately, I am stepping down. Naturally, I leave these sidelines heavy-hearted. Coaching this football team truly has been my life's passion, but I leave confident that the team will continue to prosper, and I leave with tremendous love for the University of Oklahoma and its athletics department. Sooner born, sooner bred, and so on. Boomer. There have been a lot of people coming out in defense of of, uh, Kale Gundy. I read online also that even the player, and I don't know if this is accurate, but I did read online that even the player whose iPad he read this from was coming to his defense. So this sounds to me like it was not Kel Gundy's decision. And if you look at the words he said, I don't think he would have went into detail explaining the situation if he felt like he should be stepping down. I really don't. He would have just come out and said, hey, I was wrong. I said this word. I'm stepping down. I apologize and moved on. But the fact that he told the story of how it happened to go out and go out of his way to say it wasn't my words, I think that that was his sort of way of telling Sooner Nation that I was asked to resign, either by Brent Venables, by the AD, or maybe the school president, or someone in a higher-up position. Now, let's share some of the people who have been coming out to Kel Gunny's defense. First of all, former player, former black player, I might add, Cincinnati Bengals running back Joe Mixon. Let's look at his what he said. I'm not going to read this whole statement again, but basically he talked about how Kel Gundy was single-handedly responsible for his success at Oklahoma and single-handedly responsible for his success in the NFL and as a man. He said he spent over 1,000 days 
in Norman, Oklahoma with Kel Gundy and never one time heard him utter that word, which by all accounts is, was the N word that he never heard him utter that word one time and said a man of his character would not use that word maliciously or, or at all in that matter, for, in that, for, for that matter. He talks, I mean, he just talks he glowingly about the man that Kel Gundy is and the coach that he is. Bob Stoops made a statement. Here's Bob Stoops statement. It's with great sadness that I'm reading this. I've worked alongside Kel for 23 years and know him to be a man of character and a person that loves and cares for his players as well as OU. Thank you, Kel, for all the hard work you poured into our program. It will be remembered. So Bob Stoops coming out. Now, here's a statement that I find a little intriguing, and this is a statement by Brent Venables on the Oklahoma football Twitter page. It says, and I quote, It's with sadness that I accept Coach Gundy's resignation. He's dedicated more than half of his life to Oklahoma football and has served our program and university well. We're thankful for that commitment. We also acknowledge that in stepping aside, he's placed the program and the welfare of our student-athletes first. Check this statement out, and I'm gonna, I'll explain why I think this is telling in a minute. In coaching and in life, we're all accountable for our actions and the resulting outcomes. Then he goes on to say this, which I think is also telling. The culture we're building in our program is based on mutual respect. Our staff is here to develop successful student-athletes, but also young men of character. As the leaders of this program, it's essential that we hold ourselves to the highest standards as we model for our players the type of men we want them to become. Then he goes on to say, LaDamian Washington, who has been serving as an offensive analyst for our program, will coach our wide receivers on an interim basis. So that statement right there that holding that we hold ourselves to the highest standards that we model for our players the type of men we want them to become. So that means you're teaching your young men, Brent Venables, or, or administration, whoever's fault this was. That means you're teaching your young men that you shouldn't forgive people? Is that what you're teaching them? That one mistake in over 20 years of coaching? You deserve to be thrown out like a dog and stepped on and have your character tarnished for one innocent mistake. Reading somebody else's words when you didn't know what you were reading and one of those words is controversial, you get thrown to the dogs. I think this is absolutely ludicrous. And if this was Brent Venable's decision, which I have a feeling it probably was not, but if it was, I've lost all respect for Brent Venable. If this was the administration's decision, I don't respect the Oklahoma administration. I think this is absolutely insane that they would do this. We live in a culture now where if you make one honest mistake, people treat you like a, a, a bag of dog poop. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. This irritates. I'm not even an Oklahoma fan, and I'm, I am mad about this. You've got black players coming to his defense, black players. And I know we live in a world where everybody's scared of lawsuits and everybody's afraid of of, of hurting somebody's feelings, but, man, political correctness in this society is getting blown way out of proportion. And I do not condone using the word he used. I don't use it in my language. I don't condone using it. I think it's a terrible word. But it wasn't his word. He was reading it off somebody else's screen. And he apologized for saying it afterwards. So what What are we teaching people? That you, that you that you shouldn't forgive people and give people second chances. That's another thing Joe Mixon said in his statement that I forgot to mention earlier. He talked about how he he was given second chances throughout his career at OU, and that he feels Kel Gunny deserves the same thing. But we don't do that to people anymore. We just throw them to the curb. There is not one human on this planet that hasn't made a mistake that they regret. But yet, we throw people to the curb who make mistakes. We're hypocrites, man. We're a nation of hypocrites, and it and it just it infuriates me. I don't, I'm sorry to rant, but I'm very passionate about this. Like I said again, I do not condone that word. I do not use that word. I think it's awful. It's a terrible word. It's offensive to people of color, and I don't use it. But he didn't use it. Somebody else did. He was just reading it. That's what's infuriating. If Kel Gunny had to come out and said this in his own words, it'd be different but he didn't, and that's what I have a problem with. So let me know, Kuzis Corner family, in the comment section, do you think it was justified for Kel Gunny to have to step down, or do you think he just went out, you, you, you think he decided, you know what, this happened, I'm going to go ahead and resign before anything else, before it blows up. I don't think that's what happened. I think somebody higher up than him, either Brent Venables, the AD, or maybe the president, or somebody on the board said, hey, 
we need to get him out of here, you know, ask him to resign, whatever. I think that's probably what happened. If not, I don't think he would have went in great detail explaining the situation. I think he wanted to make pe- make people known that, hey, this was an honest mistake. I didn't say this word. I read it off somebody's screen, but I'm sorry I did it. I think that's. I think he does feel remorseful for what he did, but I don't think he feels it was justified having to resign. That's that's kind of my thoughts, just looking at it from the outside, uh, as an as an outsider and reading between the lines. I want to hear your thoughts on it too. Don't forget my merch store, guys. Uh, get this design on your screen right now, among a few others. You can get hats, hoodies, tank tops, ball caps, t-shirts. You name it, I've got it over there. So go check that out, please. Also, don't forget the links in the description box to Fanatics and Amazon for your online shopping. It does not change your shopping experience, and it does not cost you more money. All it does is get you into the website, and you do not have to buy the item shown on the screen. It's just a link to get you to the site. Anything you buy after clicking that link, I'll get a small commission. You'll be helping out my channel. Also, there's a BetUS link there to do your online shopping and online gambling. Please play responsibly if you do so. You can join my channel by becoming a member by hitting the Join button right below. Last but not least, if you want to support me absolutely free, there's four ways you can do it. Like the video, share the video, comment under the video, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. And don't forget the red notification bell so you'll be notified of future videos and future live streams. With that being said, I appreciate you tuning in. And until the next video, Q Country Roads.